Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Thank you so much for being here today. Here is your fourth stimulus check update and daily news report. Millions of Americans will begin to receive direct deposits of up to $300. And many state governors are issuing more stimulus payments as new recovery plans are signed. The two winners of this week's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway are Colleen Davis and Tony Pulverenti. Congratulations to both of you. Remember everyone that next Friday, I will be announcing more winners of my $75 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment below. The first three rounds of stimulus checks definitely help millions of people cover household expenses and other needs during the crisis. The one definite form of aid going to millions of families in 2021 is the expanded child tax credit program, which started this very week. This year, even parents who don't make enough money to pay income taxes can qualify for the monthly payments of up to $300 per child. The call for ongoing relief aid is gaining public support with over 3 million signatures a Change.org petition states, the true unemployment rate for low-wage workers is estimated at over 20%, and many Americans face large debts from last year for things just like utilities, rent, and childcare. And in regards to money matters, new rules for the child tax credit gives parents the option of receiving the advanced monthly checks for extra cash this year, or receiving one lump sum for up to $3,600 per kid in the year 2022. Since the American Rescue Plan became law in March 2021, the White House has proposed two packages, the American Jobs Plan and the American Families Plan. A White House press conference indicated that President Biden is open to a range of ideas regarding stimulus aid. And on a final matter, the CTC. I have a little chart here. Over the past 20 years, the cost of raising children in America has become ludicrously expensive. Everything from diapers to housing to health care to tu college tuition has risen in price, some of it rather steeply and dramatically. And wages, unfortunately, have not kept pace, putting strain, ever more strain, on American parents. The cost of child care alone can be roughly equivalent to buying a new car every single year. That's a big burden for so many families. The pandemic, of course, made life even harder on, Americans family, on America's families. So, in the American Rescue Plan, Democrats made sure that it included a dramatic expansion of the federal child tax credit to give families a little extra help during the once in, century, in a century crisis. And today, today, I'm very proud to announce that tens of millions of Americans are going to see extra money land in their bank accounts, the first of monthly checks that will be dispersed through the expanded child tax credit. Let me say that again. Because of this law passed by Senate Democrats, sadly, unfortunately, not a single Republican voted for this much-needed measure that will help the middle class and the poor. A vast majority of Americans, because of what we did, we Senate Democrats did, will begin receiving a monthly check of $300 for each child under six years old. And they will also receive $250 every month for each child between six and 17. Combined with the credits that apply next tax season, these payments total up to $3,600 for every child under six, $3,000 for every child 6 to 17. In short, it will amount to a substantial and potentially life-altering tax cut, tax cut for American families. If you're a middle-class mom or dad, this money will help defer the cost of groceries, rent, child care, maybe diapers if you have an infant. Boy, they're expensive. I remember when... A recent White House announcement states that President Biden remains committed to the comprehensive agenda laid out in the American Jobs Plan and the American Families Plan. Democratic members of the House and Senate have argued for another stimulus check. Groups of lawmakers have come forward 
and asked President Biden to include regular stimulus payments in his next stimulus package. Also, there are several members of the House Ways and Means Committee that made a similar request, citing increased poverty and spiraling debt among Americans. They also noted that most people spent relief checks on monthly expenses, such as essentials on food, utilities, rent, and mortgage payments. Another round of stimulus payments definitely needs to be sent out as soon as possible because millions of people are still struggling financially due to this crisis. I know that some of you are eligible to receive another form of financial assistance. Direct deposits for the latest stimulus payments officially started this week. The Internal Revenue Service estimates some 39 million families with 65 million children will receive these child tax credit payments. There is no limit on the number of children that qualify, but there are income limits. And to receive a full payment, individuals must have an adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less, and married couples' adjusted gross income must be $150,000 or less. The credits drop incrementally after those before stopping completely. For individuals earning $95,000 or more, and married couples earning $175,000 or more or more and married couples earning $170,000 or more. Taxpayers who make more than that amount will be able to claim the regular child tax credit, which is $2,000 per child under the age of 17, for families earning less than $200,000 a year. These payments were set to start on July 15th, with 80% going out via direct deposit, followed by the issuance of paper checks. Payments will follow on August 13th, September 15th, October 15th, November 15th, and December 15th of 2021. Everyone, please leave your thoughts on the expanded child tax credit. And do you think that SSI beneficiaries should also receive an additional payment boost right now? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. State leaders in California have approved a $100 billion plan to further the economic recovery in California. And that includes new stimulus checks for its residents rent relief, and grants to businesses. First proposed back in May, Governor Gavin Newsom signed the legislation yesterday that reflects the majority of the state's 2021 to 2022 state budget agreement. The budget is part of Newsom's California Comeback Plan, aimed to aid the state's economic recovery from this crisis. And according to Governor Newsom's office, the plan provides immediate cash relief to middle-class families and businesses which were hit hardest by the crisis, creating the biggest state tax rebate in American history and the largest small business relief package in the nation. I'm really happy to hear that more financial relief is being sent out to Americans that need it. So that is the end of the video for this morning. Thank you so much everyone for being here today. I greatly appreciate watching my video. Remember that next Friday, I will be announcing more winners of my $75 Amazon gift card giveaway. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment below. Thank you so much everyone, and have a very blessed Saturday.